Your turn to, uh, because I teased the first one. Hey, I've got more stories from my sister-in-law. And lucky you, I'm going to share them. I'll apologize in advance. <laughs> Remember, if you like This Is Truly News, and, and really, why wouldn't you? Um, like, subscribe, and follow This Is Truly News everywhere you can find it. All over Which is the place. everywhere. Just like, subscribe, and follow. Yeah. It'll be right there. Apple well, you, Podcasts, you know, YouTube. If you, don't like to, if you watch Paramount streaming, you can't get us there. Spotify. Don't know why. Yeah, but just anyway, like, sub like, subscribe, and follow. This is truly news. And if you got stories we like, or think we'd like, or or that you like and think we'd like, or that you don't like but you think we'd like it, I'm running out of ideas. T i t r at netradio.network. Thank you. This is true, really news with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true, really, as far as you know. A French that was family. embarrassing, wasn't it? I like thought, gonna... no, I thought it was probably one of the better ones you've ever done. Thank you. French family asked Malo de Lusac of auctioneers de Guerre Val de Loiry. Huh? To, I, it's French. Oh, 58. To est estimate the value of their house. 58. Malo said, but of course. Just did like he really that. Did he say it like that? Yes, he did. Mon ami. Uh, yes, because he's all French people sound like Pepe Le Pew when they speak English. Okay, then the question I have is why does Gomez Adams, who's supposed to be Hispanic, sound like <laughs> Pepe Le Pew? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I hadn't I thought mean, of that. How am I supposed to believe this is real when he's. <laughs> <laughs> but it is true, really. Once on the property, Malo found uh, something interesting uh, behind the door in the television room. Guess what it was? Jack Nicholson? No, it was a painting. Oh, of Jack Nicholson? No, which had oh. been handed down in the family and thought to be unimportant. Now, this had gone through a few generations, right? Yeah. Now, it turned out to okay, be... Okay, now the painting is not Jack Nicholson. No, the, it turned out to actually be important. Oh, why? It turned out to be an unknown work by Flemish artist Bruegel the Younger, whose father, Bruegel the Elder, died when he was just five. Wow, he was younger when he yeah. died, when the elder. There was no mention of Brugel the Younger's little brother, Brugel the Even Younger. But art experts estimated the artwork was painted between 1615 and 1617. It's expected to sell at auction for somewhere north of 700,000 pounds. That's even more than the cost for the Dead Guy Festival. Right? Wow. How's that for... Oh, we didn't think it was worth a cent. We just kind of <laughs> kept it there. All right, listen, you got 50 bucks? It's yours. <laughs> wow. All right, speaking of money, we all know, we all know, right, in our heads, Monopoly money is not real. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. And neither is the get-out-of-jail-free card. My sister-in-law sent this to me. She's in Colorado, and they've made Minnesota stupid make it all the way to Colorado already. Oh, According... I I think that's a dispensary thing. According, according to the Chisago County Sheriff's Office, it's just up, I believe, east of me. Yes. A deputy stopped a motorist for speeding. The person handed over his driver's license, his insurance, and a Monopoly get-out-of-jail-free card. While the department got a chuckle out of it, saying points for effort and the humor, yeah. Yeah. the card is not recognized as a valid document, and it. he got the fine. You know, I d my band plays up in Chisago City fairly regularly. You know, at least if you're going to be stupid, at least be creative like that, okay? That And I expect that from one of them. They're, they're wonderful that is, folks. By the, going to Chisago Lakes, yeah. by the way, oh, yeah. is without a drive, the worst drive, there's one road, there are two lanes, and it always yeah. ended in a softball loss or a hockey loss. It was just not a fun place. And then you had to drive back. And during hockey season, you got Minnesota weather. Now we're back to God forsaken, and let's not get into that again. <laughs> so there was a cookie exchange at this guy's job. There was an odd pairing cookie. It was oh, called. Why do I have a swinging thought in my head now? Stop it. Was... it. <laughs> an odd pairing cookie was a rosemary caramel. 
It was so delicious. I had five on my break. Yeah. During the day, I was so inspired. I work in a bakery. I was just having the best day. All my favorite songs came on. And then I started getting these burps. It tasted a little like rosemary, but something was off in the flavor. I started feeling weird and tingly before my lunch break. My hands started to feel odd. Now, now, being the mixer for the day, I worked with heavy machinery and knives, and I know what that's like. I've done that job. Soon, a manager came by and asked if anyone had some cookies. Short uh -oh. while later, I find myself in a room with a handful of other people, all with odd issues. Some confused, others their stomachs felt off. EMTs, poison control, local police, firefighters. It's me all, on a Tuesday is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, all cramming into the room to examine us. Turns out the odd pairing yeah. of the rosemary and cookie oh, no. was weed. We were stoned out of our minds. <laughs> Boy, you know, I get after the person who did that and never stopped throttling them after somebody just laughing. Hey, you had right? to make the jump, right? They already yeah. We knew about the brownies. Could it work in cookies? Yes, it could. So apparently the answer is, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. all right, I promised you gummy bears, remember? Yes, you did. Hunters in Michigan, noted upper Midwest state, specifically bear hunters in Michigan, will soon have to chill on the amount of snacks they offer their kill because Michigan has just banned feeding gummy bears to real bears while hunting the real bears. You can't use gummy bears. Are these life-size yes. gummy bears? No. Okay. Okay. They feed the say gummy they're going to be heavy. They feed the gummies to the real to hunt them. Well, it's like leaving out day old donuts and stuff. That's uh, that's baiting. Yeah, if you leave out day old donuts, you'd only bait fat guys like me. <laughs> uh, specifically, mm. the state of Michigan in its crispy wisdom, cream. Well, be... Yesterday was a good year. Whoa. It was a good day, though. <laughs> the state of Michigan will now be banning melatonin gummy bears for hunters who use Bruin baiting as a form of drawing bears into an area. If you're not a bear hunter, Bruin baiting is, is baiting bear, bears. Right? Yeah. It's used by people studying bears mostly who yep. want to examine them. Yep. The, the, you create a bait pile in a barrel, contains oh. something to make the bears fall asleep. Yep. So they can examine, log, and tag the bears. Yep. Easy peasy. Yep. So hunters have apparently caught on to the trend. Oh, that's not sporting at all. Eh. Bears are very large and have teeth. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Hunters have apparently caught on to the trend using Bruin baiting with melatonin gummy bears to make the bears go CB night. night. So then they shoot them in their den. Hey, boo boo. That's illegal too. Now we don't need those picnic baskets. We got a bear. Right. <laughs> Thankfully, it was just a very small amount of hunters, they say, that seem to be practicing this method of hunting, which is it really hunting or is it just really. Patience. Shooting bears that are asleep. Yeah. I, yeah. It doesn't stop other hunters and wildlife experts, though, from being upset about someone misusing the tactic. The melatonin gummies are the latest addition to ban substance in bear in bear bait piles in Michigan yep. because they want to be as liberal as us, but they just haven't quite figured out how to be that stupid. Right. Chocolate was banned in 2017. But that, right, some chemical it contains theobromine can be toxic to animals Although oh yeah that's right dogs should you a, a should. lot of dogs can't eat it at all didn't seem to bother shadow right you know i mean there but are he was huge he was a big dog there he was only 80 pounds there are many there it's relative if i were 80 pounds i'd be tiny <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you're related to shadow no there were many an Easter, now that we're, you know, honing in on the Easter parade. Yeah. There were many a chocolate bunny. And how the hell do chocolate bunnies and Easter eggs get involved with Easter? I don't understand. But there were many a chocolate bunny. Marketing and a, genius. And a Cadbury egg that somehow went missing. <clears throat> and first I thought it was my children because children like chocolate and candy. Except for Jaden. I don't understand her either. I like Jaden. I do, but she doesn't like chocolate. I don't get no, it. I'm not a big I, chocolate fan either. I think she was she was head on her dropped or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're, anyway, it wasn't. We found wrappings later in the yard in places. <laughs> yeah. Because they don't digest. A 2021 survey in Michigan showed 81% of harvested bears were taken over a bait pile 
And in 2022, 1,903 bears were taken, which is a 2% hike from the year before, a 12% hike over the past 10 years. So now, boys and girls, you can bait the bears, but you can't drug them. Okay. So you may actually have to buy them dinner first. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.